Hello everyone, today we're going over some Blind75 C++ Lee code, and today we are going over reverse linked list. So, just to give a rundown on everything over what we are doing. So, we have a following linked list uh, that we have where we're starting at the head, and then we are progressing our way to actually reverse the whole linked list. Again, it's a pretty simple operation over what we need to do, and before we get started, just sticking with the formula over what we need. We ask ourselves what the input is, what data structure slash algorithm slash technique to use, what to do with the data, and what our output's going to be. So the input that we have, uh, we are given, just putting up our questions here, our answers down here, skip it up input. Um, so right here, we are given a linked list uh, with a head node, hence right here. And then uh, the data structure that we would need, or technique we have to use, uh, we would use an iterator approach with three pointers to reverse the linked list, what to do with the data. We will modify pointers of each node to reverse the direction of the links. And then for our output, uh, we will return the new head of the reversed linked list. And so now this is just at the point of myself showing you how to do it. So we will then just go over the steps over what we need to do, which we'll break it down into five steps. So putting in this in our section one, we need to initialize three pointers, which will be uh, the previous where we will initialize as null because everything is connected. Current as head and next as null because we haven't seen anything yet. All right, and we're gonna loop through the linked list until current becomes null. Since we're moving up, we're treating this like an array. Third, we um, each iteration uh, we will assign next as the next node of current. So technically, we kind of have four pointers to start. Change the uh, next pointer of current to previous and reversing the link. Move pre to current and current to next finally after the loop we will assign the head as the new head which is now the last node of the original linked list so just to give a rundown, a linked list is pretty easy to understand. It's like an array, but instead it's connected. That's just the best way of describing it. And then finally, we would return the new head, which will have the rest of the elements slash nodes. All right. And it's highlighted right here. It's similar to step five. Boom. Okay. So now I'm just going to go over our process, what we need to do. We're going to first initialize three pointers. Um, I'm going to, as indicated, that next is going to be up here. This is what we need, and we're given a library of linked lists. So list node prev is going to be null, and list node is going to be current, which is the head, list node. It's going to be next, which will be null. 
and we will go through we will loop through our linked list until current becomes null and that means while current is not null with each iteration Uh, we will sign next as the current, so next will be current with next. Then change the next pointer to the previous. Or next pointer to the current to previous. Reversing the linked list. We have current next to previous. To move uh, prev to current and current to next, prev equals current, current equals next. This is what we call a swap, but we're not using the STL library, we're just assigning the new pointers and that's it. And then assign head to previous because previous is current. Head equals prev. Make sure, and this is while we're doing this. And this is step four. Assign the loop as a head of the new head, which is now the last node of the original linked list. Head is prev. And then finally, what we are going to do is then return our head. Alright, passes all the test cases. And alright, it works. Okay, so just give a breakdown on everything that we have done. In fact, I'm just going to clean it up so you folks can actually understand what we're doing. I'm just going to move all the pseudocode in the steps right over here. checking and it passes okay so when reversing a linked list which is like an array except for it has literally other elements assigned to it what we will be doing is that we will uh, have a time complexity of o of n which refers to the length of the linked list and it's constant and then we have a space complexity of o one since we're not using a data structure to be able to store or keep track of anything or instead just scanning through the entire linked list um, and yeah, so this was reversing a linked list on LeetCode. Uh, thank you again for taking time to watch this. If you found this helpful, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.